Scripps News Deputy Political Director Joe St. George joins me now live from Capitol Hill. Joe, we are still talking about Hegseth all these days later. He sure. certainly sounds confident, but at the end of the day, does he have a math problem here in the Senate? Well, interesting in that uh, response uh, from that conversation uh, Mr. Hegseth had with M Megyn Kelly in the last 24 hours, you heard the word Kavanaugh being used almost as a, as a verb. That's in response to now Justice, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh and a lot of the allegations that he went through on his way to becoming uh, the, Supreme Court, uh, the Supreme Court Justice. In this particular case, as far as the math goes, remember, he doesn't need to convince any Democrat. Uh, that he is fit to be Secretary of Defense. He just needs to convince enough Republicans. And he doesn't even need all Republicans in the United States Senate. He can afford uh, to lose one or two Republican senators and still get over the finish line. 50-50 uh, would allow the Vice President-elect of the United States, J.D. Vance, to potentially uh, confirm him. But as we chat right now, Patrick, the math is that there are more then there are more Republican senators than he can afford to lose who are, have been uh, non-committal, if you will, to Hegseth. They still want to learn more. They're releasing statements and sending out social media posts to the likes of, we had an, a good conversation, a thoughtful conversation, but they're not going that extra step and saying, I look forward to voting for him and confirming him for this post. Let's dissect these allegations, though, if we can just a bit. Yes, there are sexual misconduct allegations, but in recent days, the alcohol allegations have really taken center stage. There's a couple interesting parts of that story that our viewers streaming along with us should get caught up on. One is that President-elect Donald Trump's relationship with alcohol is a unique one, and I think that's part of the storyline here. He famously famously does not drink alcohol. Whenever you see him at a black tie event, you'll often see a Coke or a, a Diet Coke next to him. He has a personal relationship with alcoholism. His brother, uh, Fred, died of alcoholism when he was only 40-some uh, years of age. So alcoholism is something particularly uh, that, that attracts the attention of the president-elect. Uh, additionally, in the military, if a member of the military is on active duty and is found to be intoxicated, uh, and, and committing uh, various actions as a result of alcoholism, there can be a, a loss of benefits, serious penalties I involved. And in theory here, if Pete Hexeth is confirmed, he would be, yes, still a civilian as Secretary of Defense, but he would be overseeing the military. So that's why alcoholism, I think, is and allegations of uh, alcohol misconduct has is, is really risen to the forefront here in recent days. But for the moment, we have to keep our eyes on what is what is the reality, and the reality is is that President-elect Trump still wants Pete Hegseth to be the Secretary of Defense uh, when his new administration takes over uh, in late January, Patrick. So, Joe, how does this work then from here on out? Is this a matter of just cajoling senators, uh, trying to strike deals with them? It, will Hegseth continue to, to visit with them? How does he get over the finish line? At a certain point, you can only convince senators so much, uh, and math is math, right? There's a lot of gray area in American politics, but if there are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Republican senators who are privately back-channeling to President-elect Trump that the numbers aren't there and that they're not going to commit him, then it's going to become pretty evident. That's what we saw with Matt Gates, the former congressman from Florida. That's why he stepped uh, aside uh, eventually and withdrew his name from consideration for attorney general. As long as the math is still there, as long as there's a path, it looks like Hegseth is going to fight. But if the math isn't there, the math isn't there. And that's why you're starting to see these stories emerge of who might replace him. Uh, most prominently mentioned is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, possibly uh, if there is a withdrawal here. Other names like Senator uh, Joni Ernst of Iowa has been suggested. She would be a historic pick if selected as the first female uh, Secretary of uh, Defense. So we'll stay on top of this throughout the day. Our Scripps News colleagues, Sam Lesker, Sam Lesker uh, and uh, Nate Nathaniel Reed uh, will be following every development on this case on this Thursday as well as into the weekend, no doubt. All righty, Deputy Political Director Joe St. George for us. Joe, thank you so much.